The police say the man who died after officers used less lethal force outside of a McDonald's early this morning is a 50-year-old from Buena Park. He and a second man were possibly under the influence, according to officers. They were called by the manager, who was concerned about employees' safety. Some officers uh, contacted one of the male subjects uh, who had no shirt on at the time. Um, he did not comply with our commands and was swinging a belt around. Uh, at that time, more officers were asked to respond to the scene. Uh, the first thing we did was utilize the uh, taser in an attempt to uh, subdue the subject, which uh, ultimately was ineffective. Next, according to Fullerton Police, was the use of less lethal beanbag rounds that were fired at the man, which allowed them to take him into custody. Officials say the suspect sustained a, quote, significant injury to the chest area as a result of the use of the beanbag projectile. Retired Police Sergeant Cheryl Dorsey, who was with the LAPD for 20 years, says the investigation will most likely explore how far away the officer or officers were standing when they fired the beanbags. Possible drug intoxication on the part of the suspect is another key part of any follow-up, she says. At the end of the day, there will probably be some culpability assigned to this individual because, after all, he is... Um, alleged to have been under the influence of a narcotic, and so that certainly could play a part in whatever may have happened to him if his heart stopped. The coroner will ultimately decide whether the beanbag round caused or contributed to the death, or perhaps whether drug intoxication played a part.